Hey guys, it's Gordon Fast and Fungi. We're out here in the Sierras hunting for spring kings. They are Boletus rex veris and they grow mycorrhizally with the fur around us. They're really hard to find sometimes. They're hidden under shrumps, sort of like a mound of dirt and needles and stuff like that. And this one I found because I had been gnawed on by a squirrel, trimmed it up, but I was looking around. I was like, man, there's gotta be something else here. I can't find anything. And I walked down a big hill and I was climbing up and I almost ate it on the way up and came into this little patch and I was like, hey, what's that? There's a little, there's a little something here. And lo and behold, it's a little family of porcini. And as I started to unearth them, I was like, oh, it's, it's three porcini. And they give nice little taps. There might, oh, there might even be a fourth here. So these are really hard to cut out. And I know that everyone really likes to cut their porcini because they think it'll help it refruit. Uh, there's really no scientific evidence to back that up. Uh, cut versus pluck is kind of a matter of preference. And what I find is in these really Dr dusty, dry soils, it's virtually impossible to cut it without completely getting the mushroom covered in, in dirt. So I like to kind of come down and see if I can pull it out by the base. And what I'll do after I tap some of the dirt off, I can tapping too to test the density of these. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll trim the base of this back into the soil and cover the hole back up. And that's that's my best practice for uh, dealing with porcini and trying to leave the forest floor kind of as unaffected as possible. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is a beautiful little cluster of perfect little porcini buttons. So this is the Spring King or Boletus rex veris. Some of the like tiny ones I feel bad pulling out of the soil, but you can't really get the like the bigger ones unless you take the tiny ones out. So it's a it's a trade off. But okay, that's got a little something something. Darn it! <laughs> you put the work in. Keep looking. You will eventually find some, but not always. So thankful we got a couple of spring kings and these little beautiful porcini buttons. Boletus Rex Veris. It's good stuff.